I'm in the I'm in the house. Susan Williams. <laughs> Susan. <laughs> Rich in the stock you market. You are a jerk off. Now, th th listen, when people, it depends. It depends when you get in and when you get out. And I was able to pick more of the getting in when the stocks were going up. They've been going up for the last decade. A banana slug could have gone. Not That's the noise in. they make when they slither across people. I got it could have hit the key button that buys stocks, mm -hmm. and then it could have slithered past that button. Well, I and that admit. banana slug would have a hundred grand right now. I got it. Leo, you bragging about making money in the stock market is about. It's like you bragging about getting pussy. Take one mean? look at you. Most people, if they looked like you, would have AIDS right now. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. That's really sweet of you. Okay, okay so some cute poor girl. Of makes, Zelda. Yeah, it makes cute little short hair Zelda doodle. And someone says, Can you make her shirtless, buddy? God fucking damn it. This do. poor innocent girl was just trying to share her fucking artwork. It's adorable. It's adorable. Like little 12 year old Zelda. You want this guy's like, you. Shirtless. Yeah, I want to Shirtless now. You also said that, uh, I think who said this, that, so, that nobody beats the market over the long term or even the short term. Or most people don't beat About the market. About 3% of the most elite hedge fund managers beat the market. Oh. And I don't think elite hedge fund managers wear denim jumpsuits I, I think there was a lot of gold necklaces. <laughs> it's real gold. That's Deshmentai. Shake the room. This girl, you know, just got a video. If only it was possible to stuff my whole entire head in your ass. Fuck. 12. She's and what I'm telling Austin, this is the advice I've been giving him every time he gets paid from this podcast once a month. I don't know why I said every time once a month, you should just put that right into a Roth IRA and in that Roth IRA, just buy the S&P 500. You keep doing that. I'm going to get Austin financially literate and I'm, that means I'm going to keep like him that. as far away from you as possible. For a female whom he sexually assaulted when she was underage. Yikes. <gasps> is it PC Cook? Have you been advised? Is it PC Cook? Is that Have who you, you been are? I'm just asking you to, to identify yourself. My collar number's on my shoulder. Yeah, but are you PC Cook? It doesn't matter what my name is. Do you know this lady? Hello. Hi. A long time ago, yes. Do you remember me throwing you out of our house because she was no. underage and you were having no, I don't remember that. Don't you? No. You should do. No. Do you remember him? Yeah. Where do you remember him from? Oh, when I was 15. 15. Have you been spoken to People like you make me before, sick. Right? Have you or not? You're Can you a answer nonce. my question or not? You're a nonce. Can you answer my You're question? You're a nonce. Or not? Wait, why is he not in jail and why is he a police officer then? Oh my god. I'm confused. And he even remembers her, so it's like confirmed he doesn't yeah. even like defend himself. <laughs> what is going on? Save them is just something that white that white chicks say to make to almost make them not white anymore. Yeah, yeah, that's a strategy. If you're born white, you got nothing unless you declare they, they, he, they, she, they. But if I... Well, I <laughs> didn't like know rock. he was, yeah, he was an unmovable force yeah. <laughs> and nothing can drag him off. Also, what does they, them mean? It doesn't make any sense to become a plural. How can anybody say that you I don't are understand. or aren't that? Yeah, I don't understand it yeah. at all. Can you please explain, Austin? Are we back going here? Yeah, we're still recording. Can you please explain what they, them is? Please. Keep going. <laughs> it, like, if, if I started identifying as they, them, I'm expected... Well, I mean, I already kind of look like I'm neutral gendered as it is. I mean, it doesn't really have to be anything. They already, like, have convinced themselves that you can just, like, magically become a chick or a dude or vice versa. I get that, so you but can what is, kind of justify any but thing. Like what what they, is the them. most commonly given definition for a they them? Why would somebody, for instance, who is a biological man choose they them over she her? It, it, because they don't want to identify as either they don't, yeah, that's what it is. They them is like when they don't want to be a man or a woman, Danny. Are you hotboxing the fucking dryer? Damn, bro, I can't get no fucking privacy, bro. I swear to God. Just leave him alone, Genie. Why is he in the he dryer? He just wants to hotbox in private, alright? What's hotbox? It's 
trying to suffocate himself in weed to get super hygienic. Oh. Can a man hot box by himself in a fucking dryer? Jesus. How come you know this? No reason. And you know the reason most of these people give for identifying as the opposite sex or they them is just so arbitrary. It's just like, yeah, I was over at my dad's house in Wisconsin and he was watching football and I'm a girl and I usually don't like sports, but I found myself really interested during the third quarter and I sat down and watched the game with him. I'm a he they. That's right. You are. Yeah. Well, it's you're like, a man and then definitely not a woman. Because women can't like sports. Like, That's I, right. I, when I felt that, that pull toward football, mm -hmm. I, I knew I was a they. That's right. Now you can just fuck as many people as you want, and we will actually say that that's great. So congrats. Slut shaming is wrong regardless of my gender labels. Oh, we don't believe that. I don't believe that. If Danny wanted to be they, them, people would expect him to dress like, like a gay dude or start taking hormones or something to look like you're in between. But if you're just a white chick that votes for Bernie, you can just call yourself they, them and still wear dresses and shit. And then you, you know, you're suddenly like almost a black person or something mm -hmm. like that. Oh, is she in um, Chernobyl? I don't know. Oh. Oh. Where are we, Jeannie? Ma'am. Where did we just go? We went inside her chair. Wow, this place looks really cool. Ma'am, I think the lens needs to wipe again. Yeah, please wipe again. <laughs> Gotta clean that lens, you know. Always gonna keep a clean, healthy lens. Why don't you give it another look? The there lens you go. Is, yeah, the <laughs> Yeah, I think transgenderism is gonna fade out. Like, BLM's way hotter than transgendered and having pronouns. Do you think in 10 years the pronoun thing's even still gonna be around? Uh, I think it'll probably get worse. I think it's gonna get worse before it gets better. I, don't, I think we're, yeah, we're, we're heading in a strange direction. <laughs> so let's try your reaction again. Let's try your reaction again. Go ahead. <laughs> Did I change your life? Uh huh. Don't. Yeah, you changed your life. Take that again. Take that again. Go ahead and look at me in the eyes when you say it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. You need to laugh a little bit harder. <laughs> I just went back to Sophie Hagen's page when I was pissing. And she dropped this nugget on us. Terms that should not and do not exist. Part one. Oh God. Victim mentality. I hate with all my heart that victim is somehow seen as something weak, as if victim reflects your character or strength <laughs> instead of the evil of your perpetrator. Nice. I, I love this. And I mean, she is an overweight girl. She probably was traumatized because usually fat chicks got molested when they were younger. Is that I mean, that, I heard like my 600 pound life fat chicks got molested when they were younger, but like any fat chick, most fat chicks, uh, it's safe to assume Leandro. Huh. Well, but it's just it's, when they pound that fourth donut in a row, it's just to kill the the the, the memory of that dark yeah, place. Because like, they it, it, what used to be going into their mouth was their stepdad's penis. <laughs> hey, I just, uh, I have to tell you something. It's pretty messed up. Okay. What is it? Okay, guys, we're about to get some bad news. It's crazy. No, it's it's for real really bad. Oh. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, I hit a dog on, in the Tesla. With the new Tesla that I got you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And so oh. they feel like if they put enough Krispy Kreme in there in its place, yeah. it'll they'll associate the cramming into the mouth motion gotcha. with something sugary. Holy shit, that sounds absolutely correct, dude. I think we should probably have the psychologist back on the show and present her that idea and ask her if she thinks that's valid. I'm going to write a book, too. <laughs> okay, so today we're actually going to be giving her this entire house. This whole house is going to be her Don't do it, 
turn it on again. No, 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 no. Just I'm gonna do it. Just for a second, just for a second. No, I'm gonna do it. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> She's kind of sleeping on the ground. Look, look, he's a little baby. That's <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Oh my god.